basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe can enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using this software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, its special keys, the status bar toggles, and its function keys, the AutoCAD coding systems applying line command as well. When a command prompts you for a point, you can use the pointing device to specify the point. Or you can enter its coordinates by typing the coordinate values in the command window or in the tooltip near the cursor when dynamic input is turned on. Given this simple problem can be solved in varied ways in plotting the points in the drawing area or space using line as draw command. Meron tayong tinatawag na Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system has three axes x, y, and z. When you enter coordinate values, you indicate a point's distance and its direction, positive or negative, along the x and y and z axis relative to the coordinate system origin, 0, 0, 0. In 2D, you specify points on the xy plane also called the work plane. The work plane is similar to a flat sheet of grid paper. The X value of a Cartesian coordinate specifies horizontal distance and the Y value specifies vertical distance. The origin point 0, 0 indicates where the two axes intersect. Polar coordinate system. Polar coordinates use a distance and an angle to locate a point. With both Cartesian and polar coordinates, you can enter absolute coordinates based on the origin or 0, 0 or relative coordinates based on the last point specified. And the direct distance entry, another method of specifying a point by moving the cursor to indicate a direction, and then entering a distance. Note, coordinates and distances are always measured in units, which do not represent any specific type of units such as millimeters or inches. Before you start, you decide what distance one unit will represent in the drawing. Through the use of units command, you can now decide what unit of measurement you will be using in creating your drawings. You can enter coordinates in scientific, decimal, engineering, architectural, or fractional notation. You can enter angles in grads, regions, surveyors units, or degrees, minutes, and seconds. The units command control the unit format. Coordinates normally reference a movable user coordinate system or the UCS, rather than the Fixed World Coordinate System, WCS. By default, the UCS and WCS are coincident. Easiest way in creating your drawing in AutoCAD software is using direct distance entry. Just remember the format that you need to understand. The direction, moving the pointer kung saan patungo ang magiging object, typing its distance, and entering after. Let's solve the same problem. But this time, we will not consider the coordinates. We will start plotting the first point at any convenient location. Type again L bilang shortcut key ng line command and press the enter or the spacebar key. Pick the first point anywhere. Now, let's start solving the lower horizontal line going to the left. You can on the auto mode para hindi tayo masyado mahirapan gumawa ng horizontal or vertical lines. Maaaring pindutin ito sa status bar or press F8 key. So let's move the cursor going to the left direction, having 8 units distance away from our first point. 
type 8 and press enter or spacebar key. To continue, move the cursor going up. Type 6 as the distance of it and hit enter or spacebar again. Move going to the right. Type the value which is 3 and enter. Papuntang baba, type 3 as the distance from the previous point and enter again. And lastly, para mas madali, you can connect it using the object snap in the status bar or just press shift key plus right click the mouse and pick the end point and move it to the end point of the line. And that's it. That's how easy to use direct distance entry. Ito ay ang pinakamadaling proseso in creating your drawing. But sometimes, mariring paghaluin ang iba't ibang paraan or the systems in order to solve your drawing problems. It's a matter of understanding the given in the problem, analyzing what best system best suit to achieve the task, and don't forget to try mixing the systems and plotting the points to create your drawing.